Hey guys, my name is Charles Lee. Today, I want to share with you guys like some of the inspiration books that I use for my concept. So I categorize my books into three different categories. One is uh, the environment, and then uh, the vehicle, and I brought one character books. I mean, they all overlap each other, so there's a you know, bunch of like you know, difference that we can learn from, but I can quickly show you guys like, you know, you know, what kind of like inspiration I get for like the, uh, these books. So if we go through uh, the environment, Book first. This is one of my favorite favorite books. It's a Kanabi uh, the artworks. So actually, this guy is a Tachuki Tanaka. He was the one of the main animator from the Akira. Um, it's one of my bible when it comes down to the environment design. Um, so another one is called the um, Takon Kinkrit. I'm sure it's a Studio 4C. They have like the two different type of uh, books for this. So one is a white cover, and then the other one is a black cover. White cover is actually the full uh, the color version, and then black co uh, the black cover is more like the line drawing, right? But these are really helpful uh, book as well. And then the other one is um, it's called the uh, Children of the Sea. Actually, it's it's not the Studio Four C, but the background artist on this one is the same as Tekken King Creek. So uh, which I believe. Um, it's, it's probably uh, the best environment artist right now in Japan. Uh, his name is uh, Shinji Kimura. So he did, he did the Takan King Creed. He, he developed a lot of, um, and also recently he worked on the Doro Hidoro. So he's one of my favorite, favorite um, the environment artists. Um, this is super helpful. Another one is, um, it's called the Lost in Anime. As you, can, as you can see, it's like all falling off because I I looked through this like so many times, you know, like I, I literally like I just going through every shot to study. Um, you know, I'm a huge collector, but if you guys don't study these and then just buy it and then like put it in your shelf and then even don't look at it, it's not really helping. So I really suggest you guys to study this a lot. So the Lost in Anime, um, it's amazing design book when it comes down to the vehicles, environments um, and all that, right? So actually um let me go quickly introduce you uh some other books as well and then we might pick a couple and then uh, i'll flip through and then try to show you guys inside as well another uh the book is called the steam boy uh when it comes down to the steampunk design uh the environments and the vehicles it's probably the best book out there um yeah so it's so otomo katsuhiro of uh, the the director who directed akira um, and then yeah, this book is kind of rare. Um, this is the mech design of uh, Yamato 2199. So Yamato, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure like, how many of you guys are familiar with this franchise, but you can almost think this franchise as uh, like a Japanese Star Wars. So, you know, in, uh, concept art, as a concept artist, we all want to work on the Star Wars, right? So in Japan, in Japan, then all the artists, for them, like working on the Yamato project is almost like working for, um, you know, the the Star Wars. It's almost like a legendary project. So they released uh, the two books, one for like, you know, like Empire and then um, the Rebels. And they they uh, released like one book kind of dedicated to, um, you know, Yamato side and then the other one for the Alien. This is amazing book for from characters to, um, actually, it's definitely I want to show through, um, show you guys through this. It's amazing pencil technique. They're all, you know, the orthographic views, the interior design, it's all traditionally drawn, right? So yeah, it's, it's an amazing book. Like, you know, from rough sketches to the layout, vehicle, um, colors, environments. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, this is golden. Yeah, this is one of my, uh, one of my Bible when it comes down to the sci-fi design. Yeah, it's beautiful. The cockpit design. Very realistic, like you know, the Japanese artists, like when it comes down to the realistic design, they're very accurate in terms of um, you know how you know the function is working and all that stuff. So definitely, uh, if you guys can still pick this up, um, I really recommend to recommend you guys to do that. See here, like they explain like in you know, how this like kind of eject uh, the ejection ejection seat is working. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful book, hallway, right. Yeah, even the cross section. So, you, so anything you can think of, like the, the textbook of the concept design, it's all in this book. Okay, let's go to Yamada two one nine nine. Okay, and then um, 
another book, obviously everyone's favorite, the Sydney. I have like three to four different Sydney books. Uh, the other one is Oblagan and the other one is a Chronotaco. Um, and also have the, 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 I think it's a laser set. Um, it's really hard to find these days, but obviously Sydney is, is he's a, he was a pioneer of the concept design. Um, the way he thinks, the way he designed, it's amazing. Um, again, guys, like the Sydney, I, I don't know, like the recently, because I see the generation changes, right? And I'm pretty sure like the young artists, like they all know who Sydney is too. But the difference is like, if I, if I look at like my, um, my senior, like, you know, my, my colleagues at, at the art center, they actually studied the Sydney. They studied uh, the Sydney perspective, how it uh, even cheats the perspective, how Sydney uh, uses his gouache painting, and that they all practice that, right? So I, I kind of suggest the same thing to you guys. Try to dissect, you know, his, the way he draws and the designs and try to apply, you know, try to steal it, right? And I don't know, back in the days at the Art Center, we used to have a classes that actual assignment is like designing your room and then designing your future like bathroom, but using Sydney style, that kind of stuff, right? Um, so I don't know if they still have that, but he's one of the master uh, that like, you know, I always, you know, I always go back and to try to study his design process, right? So um, his book, the any Sydney book, I strongly recommend, right? Um, and then the, the last one, actually the last one for uh, the vehicle and environment book is, uh, his name is uh, Kimito Shimane. He's actually the designer of the Swordfish, which is my uh, probably the my favorite uh, the vehicle of all time. So he designed um, Cowboy Bebop, the, all the vehicles from the Cowboy Bebop, including the Swordfish, uh, the Bebop, and then the Red Tail. And he even designed the Escaflone, the Mech. You know, maybe it's a lot of like you know this famous uh, the Mech design, Japanese Mech designs that you heard of before. And then he even designed the Gundam Seed. Uh, the Archangel, <laughs> and he designed the, the EZ-8 from the, the Gundam 8th team, right? So, yeah, if you look at his design, it's all hand-drawn, but even if he designs some, like, a real-world stuff, it's never about, you know, he never, like, copy one-to-one. -one. He never copies that. Always he, he pushes that extra, um, you know, the unconventional, like, you know, the design realm that you know we all, we always you know try to uh, try to push. Anyway, um, uh, this book is also hard to get, but I'm sure you guys can find it. Um, so, yeah, Kimito Shimane is another one. Um, and the last book, this kind of a little different than uh, the rest of the books. So, it's, there's a series of books called. I found about these series uh, like two, three years ago. It's called the Lifestyle Illustration of the Sixties. 50s and they also have they might have like 70s 40s but 50s and 60s they have it so what this book is about is it's a collection of all these like illustrators that were famous during this time time of the era right so if you look at it there's some of the illustrators i've heard of and then some of them are not but i was actually shocked by the level of you know the quality right and that it actually made me shame that you know, we're all using, you know, the control Z, you know, undo buttons these days and using Photoshop. Back in these days, like they didn't have this, right? The level of like, you know, the craftsmanship on these guys, it just is, is mind blowing. So I think these are amazing for the character designers, right? And even environment designers, right? And they're mostly the portraits, but the reason why this, this will be helpful for like all different characters of like, you know, art is because of the, the way they break down the graphical, um, the shapes, right? So this is amazing, amazing books. Um, I think I'm, go I'm going to pick up the 1950s too, but yeah, so they have like, they feature even like Bob Pig with the legendary, like the poster illustrator, um, all the way to, you know, uh, the Robert McGinnis and yeah. So yeah, if your character, especially like the character, the concept artist, please pick this book. It'll be super inspirational, even the illustrators, and yeah, can stress enough how amazing this book is. Okay, so yeah, I know this is just a small collection of my, um, I, must, I mean, a small portion of my uh, the book collection, 
So hopefully I'll do this more often and kind of introduce you, introduce you guys, uh, hopefully like all the books that I have, right? And uh, maybe even the new books that are coming out soon. Um, okay, so um, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>